You want to get into some advanced animation and rigging in After Effects? Where do you start? Really good place is with the Duik Angela plugin. And today we're going to look at downloading and running Duik Angela in After Effects. So here I am in my browser. I'm on the rxlaboratory.org website. We're going to head to the tools section. And here we have all different kinds of tools for advanced techniques in animation. We're going to look for this one called Duik. And this version that we're installing today is called Angela. And that's version 17.1.11. Let's go ahead and click on the download link underneath Angela. Once you click download, you'll get prompted for a donation. We're using this for educational use. So there's a section for that down below the freelancer for profit section. Really consider donating. This is a great tool. It's available for free. So you should support the organization that's developing it. I'm going to click this link that says I can't afford to support RX Laboratory at the moment, even though I already did. So go ahead and click that and scroll down to the Duke Angela section and click download. So let's jump to my downloads folder. And here you can see I've got the Duke Angela zip file. I've already gone ahead and extracted that file. So I've accessed all the folders that I'll need. Definitely take advantage of the readme.txt. There's some really good information in there, both about how to install as well as how to use Duke Angela. So what we're really interested in here is in the scripts folder, and that is the script UI panels. So we're gonna work on installing all of these panels into our After Effects interface. Let's go ahead and jump into After Effects. And here I just have opened After Effects. I've got a blank project. Let's go up to the file menu and under scripts, I can select either install script UI panel if I'd like to permanently install Duik Angela on my computer, or if I'm on a computer where maybe I don't have admin privileges or it's a shared computer, we can run the script file directly without installing it. So that's a nice option if you're not able to do a full installation or just want to test it out. So let's go to install script UI panel. And we're in that unzipped Duik Angela folder. So inside scripts, we want all these script UI panels. And I'm just going to shift click to select all of those and click the select button. And now I get a little window saying those files were copied into my preferences folder. After Effects is also telling me to restart to add those scripts to the window menu. So make sure that you do that if you're installing Duik Angela for the first time. So let's click OK. I'll go ahead and quit After Effects and restart. Okay, we've restarted After Effects. Now, under the Window menu, I can scroll down and I get access to all of the Duik panels. Now, I'm able to load individual panels if I just need one set of tools, for example, for bones or camera. Alternately, I can click the Duik Angela option, and that's going to load up all of the panels. So, when you're running this for the first time, you'll need to adjust your After Effects preferences. Luckily, Duik gives you a nice little shortcut to click Open Preferences. And we're looking for this option to allow scripts to write files and access network. And that's going to be either under Scripting and Expressions or General, depending on which version of After Effects you're using. So let's check that box, click OK. All right, so now we get the Duik Angela panel. And this is great because we can dock this just like any other panel in our interface. And we have access to all the different sets of tools. And now we're ready to get animating with Duik Angela.